may take your seats. Let's get this baby started. Gotta be kidding me. Excuse me, are we getting individual feedback, yes? You uh, honestly wanna know what I think about Marcus? Yes. Yeah, he's just got a real turd of a personality. Yeah, but you two seem like a couple of wet blankets as well. So, uh, got about an hour to kill. What are you thinking? Maybe pop some brewskis? Dude, watch some Skinamax? God, no. Talk about your broken heart? Yeah, you know Sadie, my college girlfriend? When she left me, I was wrecked. She came crawling back. You know what they say, once you go Casparak, you... So, you know, maybe Lynette will come Stop. back. Stop. Couldn't you just find a sanctuary in a different part of the story? That seems easier than lashing out. Does everyone hear him the way I do? The grating tone? That's gonna be fatal in a job interview, bud. Okay, everyone shut up immediately. Today, we're starting a new revenge mission. Our target? Boom. Oy vey. Of course I knew. This is my house. I'm the one who let Marcus in. Marcus, Marcus is here? Hey. <laughs> yeah. I made the lights flicker. Watch this. Good, right? <sighs> uh, at the risk of incurring your wrath. Please do not use the bathroom beside room number two. All right, everybody. Get out your lunches. Quickly, come on, let's go. My local bagel shop decided to take the morning off, so I'm starving. Come on, I need to see what mommy packed. Feeling a little hangry, huh? No, 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 no. That, that, that is such an annoying word. Don't, don't do that, okay? Back of the class, Marcus. Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. Go, now. I just, I can't, I can't do it with you today, man. Too hungry. Ugh. Nah, that's not gonna work. Turn your desk around. I can't, I can't look at your face. I just can't. Angry means horny and angry. Basically, you're so horny that you're angry. All right, that's still not working for me. Uh, you see a leak right there? I'm trying to get you under that leak. All right, get your body under that leak. Not the desk, your body. Oh, 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 that's perfect. There we go. I'm not saying that I'm attracted to my mom. I'm saying my mom is attractive. In another world, maybe. Are you teaching Anthony biology? Well, Zam Zaddy, if cash is what you need. Caspi would love to get down on her private tutoring sash. Ugh. Hey, Heather, give me a hot one. Yeah. <clears throat> if Marcus was a shoe, he'd be an ugh. Ooh. So I'd get to hug Rachel Ray's feet all day? Well, uh, yummo. <sighs> I can juggle four balls. Make that five. I also did magic. You just keep getting worse. I was just at the bagel shop and I ran into my ex, Meredith. You seem to run into her a lot. It's kind of bordering on stalking. Marcus, you'd be lucky to have someone stalking you. Look at you. What's your name, good sir? Victor Kozlowski. A fellow Pole. To assume all names ending in ski or Polish is actually a pretty common mistake. They can also be uh, Russian, Czech, even Slovakian. Hmm, don't like that so much. All right, now. Why don't we skip to the part where I get what I want, namely chips back in the vending machines? Mm, well, unfortunately, we do have a little bit of an agenda. First up on the list is the discussion of our new rooftop garden, which I can confirm will be generously sponsored by Casperac Motors. Turns out I had a connection. It's a joke. They're my parents. You guys actually listen to him? Hey, I have a mandate from the student body. I was elected in a landslide over Scotty Deeks, and he plays football. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm guessing Scotty Deeks sucks pretty hard. All right, talk about your stupid garden. Go, hurry. Thank you. Now, on to the selection of vegetables. And you know what? I think uh, we should vote on them one by one, alphabetically, starting with alfalfa. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Wow, unanimous for alfalfa. Absolutely wonderful. Uh, next up will be... Ba, 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 ba. You know what? I completely lost my place. Grace, can you read back the alfalfa results, please? No, hold on a second. Chips. Okay, why don't we do chips? All right, I'm an adult, and I want chips, so I get chips. Oh, my God. Oh, I know what's going on here. This isn't about chips at all. Uh, what? Fired from Harvard, stuck in Toledo, and these chips are just one more thing you can't control. All agreed. Aye. Aye. Don't vote on that. Let's put an end to this right now. All in favor of restoring salt and vinegar chips to the vending machine. Victor, wow, motion denied. 
Sorry, Mr. Griffin. Okay. Yeah, all right. Bye. You could split a pad thai and a sparkling wine. That's what I do with my college girlfriend. Mm. I wouldn't call the soft inner lining of a Duke sweatshirt a girlfriend. <laughs> You scouts are gonna distract Melvin with your magazine selling routine. Uh, uh, technically, I'm the only one here who's a real scout. This one's a dud. Oh yeah, he sucks. If they come for you, boss, I'll take the fall. I thought I'd be the first in my family to go to college, but instead I'll be the 19th in my family to go to jail. Okay, no, Heather, you can't do that. Look, I'll confess to it all. I'll take the fall for you. Dan, no. You're a good friend. I can't let you go down for this. I'll take the fall. Somebody gonna... Well, that daisy chain lost momentum quickly. Yes. This guy gets it. All right, keep going. Keep going. You guys seeing this? All right, now make a left. Wait. Just go all the way down the hall. All the way down? Uh, at the risk of being contrary, haven't you already dated in Toledo? Doesn't your high school ex-girlfriend live here? Oh, look, it's you. Wonderful. Good to see you, Marcus. Marissa, slap Marcus. Maybe you should have made yourself more indispensable. Mm. Anthony, slap Marcus. I don't want to get up. Whoopsie. <laughs> Marcus, I know where you live. I retract my whoopsie. Marcus face down. All right. As much as it devastates me to say this, Marcus, good job. Namaste. Oh! Oh, don't do that. That is just the worst. All right. <sighs> Starting to shut up, everybody. Thanks for these letters, Mr. G. These are all so nice. Yeah, I said shut up. You think I'm a curious specimen? Yeah. Mine just says old soul non-smoker. Yeah, it was starting to get late. Hey, Jack. You know, I saw the most curious thing yesterday. Dan Decker chatting up the Spanish club. At first, I was very confused. And then I realized what he was doing, courting the Latino vote. I think that club's mostly white kids. Victor, shut up. Anyway, I passed an emergency resolution. To replace the president, it now requires 10,000 signatures. Sorry, Jack. Mark my words, you soulless taint. I will take you down. We'll be out of office before you see a single precious tomato grow. Or sooner, depending on how long it takes tomatoes to grow. Well, depends on the size and the soil. By the way, we had to find a place for some gardening supplies. Might make parking a little bit of a mess. See you, Jack. Listen up. No, you listen up. You don't want to teach us biology. And we know you used to teach philosophy. But well, we think Whoa, biology. Whoa, shut up, shut up, shut up. No, 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 stop. Turn the music off, turn it off. Oh, yeah.